This is Sat TV Week at Communication with Sabrina Coven of the new look Asia Sat. Sabrina, fantastic stand. Tell us how the rebrand has been received by, by the staff and, and very importantly by the customers. Right. Um, the rebrand is going very well. We're very happy. We feel energized and we feel like a new person uh, with more rigor to per, you know, pursue our business. I think the most important thing is uh, we want um, the brand to be reflected uh, by what we do in the business. Um, so we targeted, first of all, to educate and to communicate with our staff to make sure that they get the sense that we need to change, we need to partner, we need to be uh, more uh, active with uh, understanding our customers' needs, uh, which are driving our business and driving you know, the whole industry. Um, so we've heard a lot of very good comments because uh, the brand is now uh, brighter, uh, more refreshed, uh, reflecting uh, the new technology innovation. Um, so yeah, it's been a, a very good experience. And of course, uh, we're not saying we're stopping here. Uh, there's a, a, still a lot of work to be done, uh, refreshing our website and continually providing more information as, which will build a bridge and a platform between our customers and ourselves. Um, so we're very excited. Good. Now, of course, it's not all just been about the brand. You've had a busy year last year, launched two new satellites. How are they performing and, uh, and have you got plans for more? Yes, uh, we set the world record, in fact, last year uh, with uh, SpaceX launching two satellites, AsiaSat 6 and AsiaSat 8, uh, two satellites within 30 days. Um, so our engineers had been working over time, um, working very hard to make sure those two launches are successful, and they were. Um, so very good, uh, very happy. Uh, in terms of uh, specifications, performance, uh, they're perfect. Uh, we can't ask for more. Um, so we're now working to close some of the projects that are based on these two satellites uh, to make sure that uh, we get uh, to drive our business through these two satellites as well as the, the other satellites that are in orbit. Um, in addition to these uh, two satellites launched last year, we also have a new satellite uh, being built uh, right now at uh, Space System Laurel. Uh, this satellite is Asia Sat 9. Uh, it will replace Asia Sat 4 in 2016 to early 2017 time frame. Uh, the idea is that we should uh, have enough margin to make sure there's continuity of service for people who are on HSAT 4 now. Uh, God forbid, if there is uh, any problems with this launch, HSAT 9, we will still have a chance to have a second launch before the end of life of HSAT 4. So it's very important for us to do that and there aren't a lot of people in the industry who would do that because it will mean less revenue from, from the old satellite because you're retiring early and there are you know, money involved as well <laughs> early up front. Um, so this is something that you know, we have adopted throughout the history of our company and it has given our customers a lot of confidence to come to us because they, they have no concern about replacement continuity of service. I'm sure they appreciate that. Where are you seeing the main business growth at the moment? Our uh, activities in the region are all over, but obviously, you know, where infrastructure is lacking or satellites plays a very important role and perhaps sometimes the only choice uh, in providing infrastructure uh, will be our focused uh, areas. And that includes all the you know, most populated countries, China, India, Indonesia, um, Southeast Asia, uh, parts of the Middle East even, so all over. Um, so our efforts are all out. <laughs> there is no particular uh, focus in terms of uh, uh, spend, we are spending 80% of our time at one place. Uh, we are trying to, to go out there and listen to our customers and understand what they need because these needs we appreciate are changing and we need to change accordingly. We need to adapt to the, these needs in order to provide services that our customers need. How do you see the future? As you say, you need to change, you need to adapt. You know, how, how, how do you see the future of satellite in Asia? I think the future is still very bright. Uh, satellites uh, will be the only medium uh, to deliver services to uh, aeronautical uh, applications, maritime applications, i.e. mobility, uh, Internet of Things, 
broadcasting, the point to multipoint will never be replaced by anything else that I've known. At least uh, maybe there are some new things in you know in the future, but I don't know. But according to things that we can see, we can understand now, satellites will still play a very important part in our lives, uh, in the lives of consumers. And I think that's what's driving our business in this region. Great. Well, look, thanks very much for talking to us. And again, congratulations on this magnificent new look. Thank you very much.